Welcome to a very curious place. Take three now, because this is the third time. Didn't like holding the tripod. And yes, I am all bundled up. The other jacket, a lot prettier, but it is sopping wet in the washing machine. I'm not even gonna get into that. Just that's that's a whole other amount of stress. But anyway, so today we are doing a review on the TV show Good Girls. Now this is an M NBC TV show, and I know what some of you are gonna say, girl. That's already in its second season. Yeah, I know. I, what can I say? I'm late to the game. Okay, now I'm gonna make this fall. Okay. <laughs> the reason I have not done a review on it yet is because. I'm a procrastinator. Hi, my name is Heather. I procrastinate a lot. Um, I overthink everything constantly. So I kept saying when the first season came out and I started seeing, you know, the, the little trailers for it and I'm like, oh, that looks nice. But I don't think it's really my type of show because I'm just like, yeah, it's a bunch of housewives robbing a grocery store. I don't think I can relate. <laughs> And then I was kind of searching through about a week ago to see, you know, what I could watch. I was bored. And I thought, you know what, Good Girls. I'm going to pull that up. It's on Netflix. Let's see. So I watched the entire season. Just boom, boom, boom. And I have to say, I can relate. And I freaking love it. Okay, um, and it's not often that I say that about a new show. My hair is all over the place today. There's, there's no helping it. It's just, uh, don't try and do your hair without a mirror. I'm going to have to try and redo that when I get in the car. But anyway, um, so yeah. I found that after watching even just the first episode, I really could relate because what it's about, and I'm not... I'm not doing any spoilers. I'm just telling you kind of what you will see like in the first episode or in any of the trailers. It's really about stressed out people. People that have just hit their limit and they don't know what the hell to do anymore. They, they've hit the limit. They're just like, okay, I'm done. What now? So I think Almost all of us, if not all of us, can actually relate to that. I know I can. Oh, God, can I? Um, but, yeah. And, you know, it's about every woman who's ever been cheated on by a man, every person who's ever had a loved one who's sick, anyone who's ever, you know, been through a messy divorce um, with kids involved. You know, or just every person that's ever worked in the public, period, or worked with someone that... Is just a complete and utter jerk and you just kind of have to bite your teeth because you need the job you know you know every person who's trying to figure out how to pay their bills how to pay their mortgage how to get their kids kids through school you know and do all these different things this is kind of a show that I think a lot of people can relate to um, you know it and I don't just mean women I mean men too because there's stuff in there that men could relate to you know, the husband's perspective. Now, granted, this entire show does revolve around the female characters, but there are the husbands in it, so I think, you know, you, there is stuff in there that guys could look, could like, you know. Um, I think it's just one of those shows that when you see a trailer to it, you're like, ah, oh, robbing a bank, you know, my, you know, this and that, and you're just like, I can't really relate, you know, you know, I don't live that kind of life. Well, neither did they before that first episode. <laughs> they don't really live that in real life. But I mean, they didn't, the characters themselves didn't live that type of life. They just kind of got too much and that kind of was, oddly enough, the easiest choice. Which you find out later, not really a good choice and not really an easy choice either. So, but yeah, um... I, I really do like it. I've already started watching season two. Now, I have a particular problem that I think a lot of people have nowadays. I do not have a cable or a satellite provider. I, I don't. Um, I don't have the money to spend to get, like, you know, Dish or, you know, 
direct tv those are just they're too expensive those cable and satellite providers are too expensive yeah they might start you off cheap but the price just steadily rises over time and i don't have the money for it so i watch things off of netflix off of amazon prime debating if i want to get hulu back i just can't decide but um you know i i watch stuff like that i watch stuff on youtube i you know so i watch stuff as cheaply as possible, you know, because I'm trying to save as much money as I can. I think other people can relate to that. Now, used to, if you wanted to download, like, the NBC app or something like that, and you wanted to watch their shows on it, they would not let you if you did not have a ca cable or satellite provider. They would say, you know, tell us who your cable or satellite provider is. And when I went to download the app, I was like really not expecting it to allow me to actually watch the shows, the full length shows, you know, little trailers, stuff like that. Yeah. But I didn't think it was actually going to let me watch the full length shows. And then it asked me, do you have a satellite or a cable or satellite provider? And I said, no. And it just said, you know, sign up with your email. And I'm like, what? Seriously? And so, yeah, it let me sign up. And it's letting me watch full-length episodes, which I am ecstatic about. Because I don't have regular television channels either. Because, you know, um, where I'm at, the antenna doesn't really... You know, the digital antenna that you can get, it doesn't really work very well. Um, so everything's done through Wi-Fi. And a lot of those channels, if you didn't have a cable or satellite provider, you couldn't watch episodes. You just couldn't. So I'm very happy to see that they're actually changing it up and allowing people that don't have, you know, regular satellite or cable providers to actually watch the shows. Um, it's smart of them because, you know, I mean, honestly, before this, if it wasn't on Netflix or Prime, I don't watch it. I, I just didn't. You know, if it was on Hulu, I might get Hulu and watch it. But for the most part, I just didn't. I did without. And I was fine with that. Um, but yeah, so that is a really neat thing. So you, if you do not have a regular cable or satellite provider, you can still go on to the NBC app. I'm not sure about the other apps. This is the only one I've tried so far. Definitely going to be trying the other ones just to see. But so far, the NBC app, I know, actually works like this because I don't have one. I don't have, an MB I don't have a satellite provider. So it does work. Uh, all they needed was my email, and they wanted me to put in a password, you know, so, you know, whatever password I picked, they were happy with it, that was fine, and yeah, boom, done. So, if you don't have regular TV, you can still watch it on the NBC app, um, but I definitely would suggest checking out Good Girls, because it really is a good show, and I've, I gotta say, one of my favorite things in there ignore my cat lick. <laughs> um, it's always there. I've been there since I was a kid. I cannot get rid of it. You know, even hairspray doesn't want to hold it down. But anyway, um, one of my favorite dynamics out of the entire show, and again, this is in the first episode, um, and you've seen it in the trailers, is the lead character, whose name is Elizabeth, or Beth, and the character Rio, who is the gang boss. Um, that kind of interaction, um, weird kind of relationship they have going, it's not really a relationship, but you know what, when two people are talking and it's, it's type of relationship when you're around each other a lot, you know, but it's different. It's odd. So, but that interaction between those two is, I, I think, one of my favorite things out of the entire show, is just watching them go back and forth, you know, and how they kind of interact with each other. So, but yeah, I just, you know what, I didn't think I would like it, you know, the married housewife thing and stuff like that, but I really do. I would very much suggest it if, you know... If you're looking for something new to watch, watch the first couple episodes. You know, watch your first two or three. Give it a few, and I think you'll find that you actually really like it. Um, 
and check out the NBC app if you don't have a regular provider, or even if you do, um, check out the NBC app. You know, you might be able to get apps instead of the regular channels, and you might be able to save some money. So that is always a good thing. So as always, much love from Latina. Very curious place. Stay strange, ladies. Bye.